Hey everyone, it's Tara Lynn. Welcome to the channel. I'm an empath and psychic and in today's video I have the Muse Tarot here and I'm going to be pulling a message for you. For some reason I was just drawn to use the Muse Tarot deck today and I felt that I had to do a collective message for someone. So I'm not sure what exactly is going to come up in this reading um, but definitely just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't because this message is going to be meant for lots of people. If you want to watch more in depth pick a pile readings I do have them on my channel and I also have more collective readings so everything's going going to be linked in the cards above. So let's see, I'm going to tap into your energy and see what you need to hear. We just got a couple jumpers. So we have the Muse of Emotions, we have Five of Inspiration and Nine of Inspiration. So the Muse of Inspiration basically is this Dex King of Cups and then the Five of Inspirations is the Five of Wands and the Nine of Inspirations is the Nine of Wands. So what I'm sensing with this, because we have this energy here that's about inspiration and then we have this Muse of Emotions, it's saying that there's some of you that are having the struggle with your um, feminine energy versus your masculine energy because all of us, we can have both feminine and masculine energy in us. It's not based on gender. It's something that we have the duality in all of us and so there's something that you're being pulled to do but it's very challenging and because of that emotionally it's like it's too draining for you there's not balance here um, something's not in sync and we have the hanged man as the back of the deck energy so it makes sense uh, there's definitely some sort of challenge that you were facing in your life with this thing that you want to do it's like this challenge of head versus heart and it's like you don't know what to do and I feel like there's this stuck energy because you really don't know what to do and I keep repeating that phrase over and over but it's really what I'm sensing from spirit it's like you're at some major crossroads with yourself I don't feel like this is a crossroads of something that's so black and white where you have these two options in front of you it's like you're in a crossroads between listening to your heart versus your head. Um, and I, I feel like there's this like energy where it's like you feel defeated, like you feel like you don't know what to do and it's like you're just so lost and confused. And I feel like that's why you came across this video because it's meant to give you some sort of guidance. So I'm gonna see if I can pull more on the situation. So we have the five of materials reversed. So I'm gonna flip it upright. So the five of materials is an energy where it's like there's lacking. And so with the five of materials being upright, it's about leaving for better things. Um, it's about choosing to walk away. So instead of being put out in the cold, you gotta walk away first. I feel like there's some situation and the back of the deck confirms it. It's the seven of emotions. So the back of the deck energy is saying that there's some sort of choice you have to make. There's something you gotta do. Um, there's something that you have to decide on. And because of that, it's like you gotta choose to be the one to walk away. You gotta choose to leave a situation that's not fulfilling you, that's not giving you what you needed to, so that you can actually move on and you can get abundance, that you can get the things you want. Something is lacking here. You're not getting it. Uh, your cup is being drained and you are not receiving anything back. Um, this could be emotional support from someone. This could be actually having ambition and motivation for things. It feels like there's this energy that's a lower vibration that's influencing you, whether it's from someone else or whether it's your own actions or creating your reality and you need to break that cycle. There's definitely something, either a habit or a person that you have to leave behind, you have to walk away from because that mindset or that person or situation is not actually doing anything for you. I'm gonna see if I can tap the energy and find out if this is a habit, if this is a person, if this is a situation. Um, see if I can be more clear on what exactly is going on. And so we have the four of materials and we have the page of materials, okay. So for materials, this is something that's been going on for a while. This isn't something new. This is something that, um, if it's a pattern, it's a pattern that has been going on for a while. Maybe if it's a person with this page of pentacles, this person may be new and this could be the catalyst that's making you realize all of it. But this pattern, this mindset has been going on for a while. And so with this page of materials, I'm actually gonna move it here so you can see it a bit better. So with this page of materials, I actually feel like this is about someone coming into your life and being a catalyst for you. Um, I feel like a lot of you you're being guided by this page of material. So this page of materials, it can be more feminine energy since pages are typically feminine energy. Uh, but with this materials, this is about someone who's in your life. They could be in your life through work or your career, um, or there's some sort of mentor to you, but there's someone who's very curious. Um, some of you, if you're still in school, they could be another student that um, is in your school. Um, basically, this person has come into your life to be a catalyst for you to let go of this four materials. Uh, this pattern, this habit, whatever it is that has been going on for a while, and yes, back of the deck energy is the three of materials. So this is a teamwork effort. So 
I actually feel like you might have this page of materials in your life who is like this catalyst to make you like aware of this and be like, yo, like come this way. Like I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to guide you. I'm trying to make you aware of this. And they actually might be someone who's super blunt. They could be an earth sign. I also sense for a lot of you, they could also be an air sign. They have that blunt energy where they call it as it is and they kind of call you out on your bullshit. Um, and I feel like this person has been watching you. They've been trying to help you. They're giving you advice. Some of you, this could be a therapist, um, but there's someone in your life who has been saying like, hey, like this is not okay like this thing that you're holding on to you need to let it go you need to walk away you've been told to walk away but now right but right now it's like what do you want to do emotionally versus what you need to do because if you let yourself let go of this this muse of emotions originally came out reversed this muse of emotions is going to be revamped. You're gonna find emotional stability. Right now you have no emotional stability because you put all your emotions into this empty cup. But you have this five of inspiration, this nine of inspiration, which is saying that you have challenges, but you have that passion, you have that drive. And so everything in life, no matter if it's good or bad, it's going to have challenges. It's not going to be easy. And sometimes creating change and breaking habits is going to create challenges. But the overall energy here is that it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna restore your energy. Right now you're facing these challenges because your emotions are out of balance. But if you balance your emotions, you're gonna be okay. Um, and so with that three of materials as the back of the deck energy, that's really indicating to me that there's like someone who's triggering you and then there's someone who's guiding you, who's trying to help you. And so it's like everything comes in threes. I feel like some of you, you could be seeing the number three through three. Some of you could also be seeing the number four, four, four. Um, I feel like your spirit guides speak to you um, in number that way and I feel like something that you're gonna start seeing as you go through this change is five 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 um, because five represents change it's a number of change and it's a number of actually like moving on from things and I feel like with you it's going to indicate that you are becoming who you truly are meant to be and that you are actually finding emotional balance in your life um, I definitely feel like this is something that you need to do and you have to accept. And as I was saying that, we have the back of the deck energy as, uh, not the back of the deck energy, we have the death card coming out and it's reversed and the back of the deck energy is the two of materials. So with the death card reversed, this is saying that there's a rebirth for you where yes, you are having to end something, the cycle you have to walk away from. Um, you have to really change your mindset and like I said, with that five of materials when it came out reversed, you are walking away from something that's not living. That's not working. Um, it's like this situation is dead. The situation is broken. You gotta walk away from it and kinda kill that fantasy or kill that hope of what it could be and realize like, yeah, you're walking away from something that's empty, but then you're gonna get abundance. And so it's like making a sacrifice almost where it's like you're leaving this aura of material energy behind and you are actually gaining something better. And with the back of the deck being the two of materials, this is an energy of duality and balance. And like I said at the beginning of this message, things are out of balance. So when you make this change, when you actually stop resisting it and you let things go and you move on, you're going to get peace and balance in your life and you're actually going to be able to feel a lot better about yourself. And so for those of you who you're in this energy where you don't know what to do, what spirit is trying to tell you and what the point of this message is, is that you need to stop resisting. You have to stop fighting. You can't hold on to what you want because what you want is not what you need. Let go allow yourself to move on. It doesn't matter if you're outgrowing a situation that you thought you wanted, if you're outgrowing a person you thought you wanted, if you're outgrowing a mindset you thought you needed to survive. You don't. You are going to get what you need. Everything you need is waiting for you. You're not going to lose it. You're letting go of what you want. And sometimes what we want and what we need gets confused by our ego, but your ego is manipulating you because of that form material energy is convincing you of things that are not true and you need to let it go. The whole point that your spirit guides led you to this video is so that you learn that it's okay to change, it's okay to adapt, and that this death energy is not something to fear. It's not literal death. It's talking about letting something go that is already not working. You're not letting go of things that are working. You're letting go of things that are broken that are actually causing you to be out of balance. And so once you accept that, once you realize that all you have is hope in this and that you don't actually have anything that's practical, you need to let it go. Because holding on to the hope of something is gonna end in a cycle that will never stop. The only way you can let go of something is by accepting that you can't live in that hope. You can't live in that reality because it's not true because everything has potential. And so if we were to go around living in the potential of everything, we would never achieve anything. 
we have to live in the reality. And I feel like that's what spirit's trying to wake you up to. And so you're stuck with your heart focused on the emotion of this, where you're stuck on the hope of this situation, where if this changes, it leads to this, or if I just wait it out a little longer, it's gonna work out. And what you're being told is, no, it's not. You're having challenges now that you're gonna overcome, but you gotta face the facts. You can't fit reality to be what you want it to be. You have to accept reality for what it is and make steps to change it. If things aren't working out as you want them to, you have the ability to look at reality, accept what's currently going on, and make a plan on what steps you're gonna take to move forward. But you can't look at reality and say, I don't like this, so I'm gonna create a new reality and just say it as my truth, because that's not how things work. Um, and so I feel like with this, it's about literally going with the flow of things and realizing like, I can't hold on to this. I want to, and it's gonna be difficult, but I cannot do it because it's not doing anything. It's keeping me stuck here. I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything. I'm just stuck in this vision that it created and all I'm ever gonna be is stuck. The only way to get unstuck is to realize, okay, this might not work. This might not be my dream career or the person I'm gonna be with forever or what I thought it was. But if I allow myself to move on, it doesn't mean that I can't get things that make me just as happy as I was pretending I was. Because right now you're not happy. Um, I feel like a lot of you are trying to lie to yourself. You're trying to convince yourself you're happy. But I feel like there's a lot of anxiety and worries and fear that you were trying to push down. That you were trying to convince yourself you don't have. And the reality is you do. And the reality is that you can let those go when you allow yourself to remove yourself from this fearful, intense situation. But because you are still stuck in this limbo, you're always going to have fear because you're never going to have any solid foundation. You don't allow yourself to see the answers that are being provided to you. And I feel like a lot of you, if you're dealing with other people, see their actions as data. See how they actually respond to things. Not what they say, what their actions are. Use it as data and realize if their actions are matching what they're saying to you and also see if their actions are matching the reality that you want. If they are actually taking the steps towards your goals and your ambitions or are you putting your life on hold for something that they're saying they're doing that they never actually do. Um, I feel like that's something you really have to evaluate. And I feel like you're gonna have to walk away. You're gonna have to walk away, but it's gonna provide emotional balance for you because now this empty cup, whatever it was that you were stuck on that was draining you, you are now taking that cup and using it to be something that you put your energy into for yourself. You are now filling your own cup, you're not relying on others to do so, and you're not pouring out your energy to give to others. You're gonna be able to do things for yourself and to provide for yourself and have balance that way. You're gonna start focusing more attention on yourself. And I feel like that's one of the first things you can do is just start putting more attention on yourself. Start showing yourself more self-care and self-love. Really start taking time for yourself and being mindful about how you treat yourself, how you think about yourself, um, and what you do with your time and with your energy. Make sure that you are balanced between giving to others and giving to yourself. I'm gonna see if there's any final messages for you to uh, conclude this reading, but I definitely feel like this is what the message was for. It was just saying like, quit holding on to this and quit being stuck because that's never gonna get you what you want. And we have the queen of voices and two of emotions. So yes, yeah, some of you, you could be having a air sign in your life who's a queen of voices, who is embodying this energy of trying to say, hey, like stop that. And the back of the deck energy is the awakening energy. And so this is saying that they're trying to awaken you to the reality of things. And this two of emotions this is saying right now you're stuck because your heart's telling you one thing and like you don't want to let go of it if you let go of it you listen to what this person's telling you you're gonna have this two of emotions you're gonna find other people who are gonna make you feel better you're gonna find like-minded people who actually inspire you like with these two cards here who actually make you passionate where you have this balance where you have the emotions and the mindset to go with it so now you have the determination and the motivation for things to be long term right now this muse of emotions is short term because it's only fueled by emotions and so it's not actually going to pan out to what you want it to be and so you really do have the ability to wake up to things to become strong and independent and actually focus on yourself and focus on creating a balance in your life that's actually something that's equal where you and others are on the same page where you are communicating where you are doing things that actually serve you and they are what you need and they're no longer just what you want 
I feel like you're really separating your ego from things and a lot of you you could be going on a spiritual awakening and this is what triggered all of this but it really feels like you were able to become more curious to things start asking more questions and not just living in the false realities that you created now you are actually finding answers and finding clarity to make sure that your reality makes sense and now I feel like after you learn this lesson you're not going to be afraid to question things you're not going to be afraid to change things and to adapt and to grow right now you're fearful of it because you created this mindset that change is something to be feared that change is something that's bad and it's not what's bad is when we resist change because if we are growing let's take it as when we're kids when we grow and we change shoe sizes and we pretend that we don't need new shoes and we just try and wear the same shoes we did when we were five that would hurt us that would make us very uncomfortable it would not be easy and it would create this lower vibration negative energy because you would be in pain all this time and because of that it's going to reflect in your energy and your mood but when we allow ourselves to say hey i've changed i've grown my foot size doesn't fit this shoe anymore let me adapt and let me get a bigger shoe then you're not going to have this lower vibrational energy because you're not going to be frustrated you're going to be able to actually be enjoying your life and living your life as you should because you're not limiting yourself and so that's the same thing that's going on here it's that you are ready to grow you're ready to change your life is throwing all these things at you and you're trying to resist it and so yeah it's going to be very uncomfortable yes you're going to be lost because you have the answer in front of you and you're saying that it's not your answer you don't want it to be your answer and so you're trying to find anything else when really you just need to accept what's right in front of you and so i'm really sending you all so much love and light right now i know that accepting change and allowing yourself to move on and let things go is never easy so i really do feel for you but just know that you were strong and that this temporary pain this temporary wound is going to be healed because you have good things coming for you you're gonna have abundance you're gonna have love you're gonna have prosperity you just have to be willing to take that risk and allow yourself to accept what's going on and allow yourself to let go of what is no longer serving you so you can actually stop fighting this and stop creating these challenges and and actually just go with the flow and create peace in your life and find balance and it's gonna be a process it's not gonna happen overnight but you have the ability in you and I feel like you have people who are supporting you and you just got to rely on them and rely on yourself and just start focusing on yourself more and it's gonna create a whole new reality for you that's so much better and so much more authentic to what you truly want and you're not gonna be living in this limbo this fear this chaotic energy anymore it really feels like you're gonna be so much more at peace with yourself because you're not not going to have as much uncertainty. You're going to have more answers and you're not going to be stuck living someone else's life for them. Uh, I feel like a lot of you, it's like you're stuck because you're trying to stay and keep people in your life to make them feel better about their lives and you don't need to do it. You have to live your life for you. And so you really have to accept that things need to change and it's okay. And really just allow this to happen, allow your life to transform and allow you to find balance. And I feel like the first step for this is really to just like sit with yourself and realize the things that you're truly unhappy with. Accept them. Um, you know, don't run from them anymore. Say, I'm upset with this, or I don't like what this person does, or I'm actually not happy in this relationship, or I'm not happy with this job, or I'm not happy with this family member. You know, point it out, read it, understand what you don't like about your life, and then you can accept the changes to release that from your life. But until you accept it, you're always going to be in this limbo because you have the answers and you're not willing to look at them. And so I really hope that this resonates. I really hope that this helps you out. And if you have any more questions, I'll be more than happy to help you in the comments down below. And if you guys did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear this message. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I post multiple videos a week. And if you want to get your own private reading I do sell them you can either message me on Facebook or Instagram or you can check out my Etsy shop everything's linked in the description box down below and I can't wait to see you all in my next video I'm sending you all so much love and light on your own spiritual journeys and if you want to watch more videos I'm gonna have them linked in the cards above I can't wait to see you all in my next video have a good one bye